So you had moments, you had pauses, they weren't planned, you didn't know where it was going to go, how or who, and when you're going to sit, and when you're going to stand, all those things. They happened very naturally and instinctually and organically. Um, you know, I, I was rereading on the plane, actually, some of my notes that I took in my book, in, in Harold's book, when I was working with Harold. And there were different things that were written there, but one of them said, I wrote, when I act, I act for me, I don't act for anyone else. He didn't say that, it was sort of a cognition I had when I was working with him, and I told him that, and he said, that's right, now you've got it. Mm -hmm. And it's really something to know when you go to an audition or anything, and it's, it goes beyond just acting tech, but it's kind of life tech, <laughs> you know? It's, it's a life technique, but it, they're one and the same. I mean, there's really, I don't make any distinction or differentiation between the two. You know, the more emotional and free and kind of, I don't know, we do things because we want to do them, not because we feel that that's what's expected of us, um, the more we kind of build power for us as, as beings. Yes, and there's times when we're not going to, we're not always going to be selfish and do what we want to do all the time, but as actors, you need to be a little bit selfish, and you need to come in and do it for you and not for them, and on stage, you know, but you're with your partner, and there's that simpatico and that collaborative spirit of the whole thing. But at the end of the day, it's like, it's not about being careful or doing it right. There really are no rules, as you know. You know, the, the only rule is to really always kind of follow that instinct. You know, Stanislavski had this idea that mapping these things out and forming a tech, he said when you want to, acting on the instinct and unconsciously is the end game, but what if your instincts lead you down a path that's not right for the play. You know, Harold's viewpoint on it, the counter argument, which was controversial, was what is the right path? And who's to determine what that is? The audience, the actor, the director, the playwright? And how do we get 12 people to agree on one thing? Good luck. You can't get 12 people in a room of executives to agree on anything. It's like a hung jury. So since you're the one whose ass is on the line and you're doing it, you might as well do what you want to do and let them give you some direction and steer you and whatever. And if, it's like trying on a suit. If it fit, you try the direction. If it works, great. You try it on. If it fits, cool. If it doesn't fit, you can't do it anyway. You know. So you might as well do kind of what is going to work and what your instincts do feel right. You know. I think that the less an actor knows, and I think the fear is that what holds us back from doing that is the fear that we're going to do it wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why Stanislavski came up with all these techniques. Um, and so, but the reality is those techniques were there to free you anyway. They weren't there to confine you or to hamper you or to control you or stifle your impulses. They were there to get you back on your instincts. If an actor is really going to be working on his instinct and really he's got to be willing to go out there and risk failure and he has to be willing to go out and ultimately do something that's going to feel uncomfortable or dangerous or like self betrayal or, and it's going to hurt sometimes and sometimes it's not going to hurt. It's going to be fun sometimes and sometimes it's not going to be fun. Um, but it's, it's going into that unknown space of saying, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what's going to happen. And that's the fun of it. It's not, it's scary, but that's also thrilling and exciting. It's an amusement park ride. It's not a science project. Figuring out how the scene is gonna go or technique is an academic pursuit. It's for intellectuals, it's not for artists. Creativity and, in, and instinct are intimately connected. They're intricately connected. And so breathing and speaking and taking these lines and allowing yourself to be personally responsive to that text piece by piece and allowing that to be the role and the character to kind of speak to you.